Lightning F1 ejection. Thank God for tomatoes. Test pilot George Aird ejected from his English Electric Lightning F1 aircraft at a fantastically low altitude in Hatfield, Hertfordshire on September 13, 1962. Jim lived next door to De Havilland test pilot Bob Sowray, who had mentioned to Jim that he was planning to fly an English Electric Lightning F-1. These planes are British fighter aircrafts that served as interceptors during the 1960s, 70s, and into the late 80s. They are the only UK-designed and built fighter capable of reaching Mach 2, and at the time they were top secret. Jim had planned to go on a walk with his children that day and took his camera along so he could picture Bob landing the lightning at the airfield. Later that day, Jim had found a good spot in a field next to the runway, and he waited patiently for the plane to return to land. It turned out, however, that the pilot of the plane wasn't Bob, and instead was another gentleman called George Aird, another test pilot working for De Havilland. George had taken the plane for a demonstration fly along the south coast, and as he made his way back to Herefordshire, he approached Hatfield from the northeast so he could land. Unfortunately, there was a serious problem with the plane that George soon realized. There was a fire in the plane's reheat zone. Unburnt fuel in the rear fuselage had actually been ignited by a small crack in the jet pipe, which weakened the tailplane actuator anchorage. This meant the tailplane control system, which provides stability and control, had failed. At this point, George was only flying at around 100 feet when the plane suddenly and violently pitched itself upwards. Soon realizing the danger he was in, George made the brave decision to eject himself from the plane at this frighteningly low altitude. Just for, before this, Jim, the photographer, witnessed this while a local tractor driver called Mick Sutterby, who was 23 at the time, had been telling him to move off the land he was on. Fortunately, George survived this crash and landed through the roof of a nearby greenhouse. He landed feet first and broke both of his legs before he fell unconscious. It wasn't until the sprinklers in the greenhouse for the tomatoes went off that he awoke to find out that he survived. 